Hello guys, in this quick tutorial I will show you how to install Arch Linux. Let's start. First boot from Arch Linux ISO and click Arch Linux install medium. Now I boot it into Arch ISO. So, if you are connected to Ethernet, just ping to make sure that you are have the access to Internet. Ping www. Arch Linux. Dot org. C four. Nice, now I'm connected to internet. If you have a Wi-Fi, this is the command that you should type. First type IWCTL and click enter and type device list. Device list will show you all the devices and then type Station will learn zero get dash networks and then click enter. In my case, I'm not connected to Wi Fi, that's will learn zero is not found, but in your case, it will show you the Wi Fi around you. So, after doing this command, just type station will learn zero connect and here just type your wi-fi name wi-fi name for example sa 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 if you're just this is an example and type enter since you entered your wi-fi name and then it will require you to enter your password and after you enter your password just exit and then do ping to make sure that you have the access to internet because Arch Linux is installed through internet so now just exit and let's clear screen now let's type Arch install and let's start the installation testing the connectivity to Arch Linux mirrors just a few seconds and here all the steps that we should do before we install Arch Linux. So the first option to choose language. For me, I will continue with English. Here is the mirrors. Let's click enter on it. And let's click mirror region and port slash and write your country name. For me, Spain and click back now click all locals and here you can change your keyboard so for me i'm just going to continue with usa keyboard english usa that's fine for me but if you want to change your keyboard you can change it from here it's back and here we have the disk configuration so let's click on it and click on use at best effort default partition layout and here I have 21 gigabyte I will select it here you can choose the file system that you want we have a butterfs and we have xt4 butterfs it has like a lot of features especially it supports snap you can make snap of your system quickly and the xt4 it's like the standard one for a linux system it's so stable if you are using arch linux for a server it might be recommended to use a better if as but if you are using uh, arch just on your desktop maybe go with uh, xt4 it's standard one so stable so choose any one of them for me i'm just going to continue with xt4 because it's so stable here is we have the option of boot louder so i'm just to continue with the grab you can change it 
if you want the swamp area yes by default i will uh, continue here is the host name you can leave it as arch linux or you can change it to whatever you like let's make it just arch here is a root password you can create a password for your root account so let's make one let's type the root password and click enter we type it again here is you can add a user account click enter and click add a user type your username type the password of new user And here is we have two options to add this user to sudo list or no just go with default yes this user will have the access to sudo enter yes and click confirm and exit now click on profile and click on type click on desktop here is we have a multiple options of desktop environment that you want to use so you can use any one of them especially the famous ones we have here gnome hyperland and a3w and kda and so on so for me i'm just going to continue with kda here is we have the graphics driver all the open source i'm going to use the open source in this video but if you want to use nvidia drivers here is you can choose them or whatever you are using so for me i'm just going to continue with all the open source default and here you can choose CDDM or LightDM or whatever you like to use. For me, I'm just going to continue with SDDM and click back. Here is the audio server. Click on it and choose the audio server. For me, I'm just going to continue with Pipeware. Choose Pipeware or Plus Audio. For me, I'm just gonna continue with Pipeware. It's work for me. And here is we have the kernel. So you can choose the kernels that you want to use, standard kernel or Linux LTS or Zen. For me, I'm just going to continue with the standard one. And here we have additional packages if you want to install any additional packages. So for me, I'm just going to install Vim and Firefox. and telex it's my favorite terminal and here we have network configuration use network manager to have the access to internet so click on it and here we have the time zone click on it and click slash and choose your area for me gonna choose africa slash Casablanca and here we have the option automatic time saying just leave it as true and the last option is optional repositories if you want to customize it it's up to you here we have multi-lib and testing you can choose multi-lib and you can save the configuration if you want to install it I mean next time without entering all these options you can save this file and just use it another time or just click install now let's install the system and click enter again and now let's wait until the system finish installing
and now the installation has finished so click yes default if you want to show it into your system but for me I'm not gonna show it into the system so I'm going to choose no and click enter now just reboot your system all right reboot and now we installed Arch Linux successfully here is we have plasma wireland session and xorg so let's enter the password click skip Felix sudo pacman dash s new pitch Click Y, enter, clear the screen, new pitch. That was everything for this video. If the video was useful to you, please subscribe to the channel and put a comment and see you in the next video.